hello everyone this is mark now we'll go for the electrical engineering for ts so uh, if you observe that here okay here we can observe that here what are the and what are the books having the falcon of reading books so we can observe so most of the questions will be asked in here that will be graphical symbols dc machines transformers induction motors dc motors DC winding and AC winding. Okay. So here, what topics are concerned? Here. Okay. Here the topics are there. So these are, but he coming to the weightage of marks. He are having some mistakes. So we'll go with the da. Whatever the syllabus book has there given. So that will be helpful for you while preparing the exam. Okay. So whatever the he mentioned, the weighted marks, short answer, essay questions. So you have to observe in your and write it in your curriculum book or syllabus book. Okay, that will help you. Now uh, we'll go for the important questions. So what are types of the questions they ask in the exam questions? Okay. Here we go. So here the first chapter for the graphical symbols. Here the question that is rewirable fuels. Okay, rewirable fuels which we have in the data. Okay, isometry of rewirable fuels and the question. Okay, this will ask in the some many number of times you may ask. Okay, rewirable fuels. Next question here that is here HRC cartridge fuels. Okay, another question that is HRC cartridge fuels. So that will be in asking HRD cartridge fuse. Okay, here these two questions for the short answers for the coming to the fuse. Now coming to the couplings. Okay, so here I'm what we are telling that they based on the curriculum book for the TS, Telangana State for Polytechnic students. Now here this is the elevation and side with the unprotected type. Okay, here the first chapter. So they must they will they will best mention the, this is the question. Okay, draw the elevation and side view of the unprotected flank coupling. So out of that. So based on that, you have to give the answer. Next, draw the elevation and side view of the protected flank coupling. Okay, here what are the differences that that you have to observe? Okay, in each questions that is in the protected type and unprotected type. Okay. So another question we have that is end cover okay so end plate with ball bearings next here roller bearings elevation sideways roller bearings ball bearings okay so these are the important questions began to the first chapter next we'll go for the second chapter here this one is okay you okay so disassembled dc machine showing the points this may ask in the year 2012 but examination here the question okay here so we have to mention draw the this diagram and how to measure the each part of the machine okay here we have to take the scale so not to scale they will mention the not to scale okay then we have to draw this diagram okay we have to mention each part of the line okay without using the any dimensions okay some they must me to give dimensions the diagram you have to go with that one you will next another question we have that is coming point of the air okay field pole and main pole okay pole and main pole so here they will question they will given we have to draw the diagram okay whatever the diagram question diagram is there that you have to draw okay this diagram so these are the main so we may ask the 10 marks questions or 20 marks question okay here so if 20 marks question you have been here they will mention the a and b okay here these questions they ask for the 10 marks as a part here and b okay from sixth question okay you have to give so from fifth question sixth question they will ask in a and b so here a will be there and b will be there okay so here they will mention the, these question in here you have to draw the diagram next okay this down interpol deck 
okay different is the interplan so we have field pole and other so both are same but difference that that one is the main pole here is the one is the interpole one so we have to go with the what is the assembled view okay that we have to observe next so here so here the question is that armature core okay so question is that armature core so the armature core diagram we have to draw okay so we have to go with the armature core diagram so whatever the data uh, here the data will mention and we have to draw this diagram okay so sometimes you know, have to prepare with the whole preparation so here these questions will ask me for 10 marks question okay so for 10 marks part a will be given down here and part b having the 20 marks from part b also having a and b some section sub question will be given so this type of question will be asking for the 10 marks question okay next here so if you go for the 20 marks question okay right off sectional view this guy okay so they will ask me right off sectional elevation and difference of. so this will be asked for the 20 marks question so this is the data okay here data so by using the data we have to go with it so by using data we have to draw the data okay next here so dc generator main dimensions so we have to draw the dc generator along with the line okay this diagram may ask in the exam for the 20 marks okay so if you prepare with the dc machines so it will be easy for you while preparing for the induction motors also okay so prepare both for induction machines and dc mission that will be helpful for you next here the other chapter we have in the that is transformers okay so transformer we're having so transformer sections so here the questions will be asked for the transformers so single phase three phase along with the core okay height of the core okay and the four coils so questions so this type of the question here in the syllabus we're having the single step and three step of core okay so what are the question they mentioned in the syllabus copy that we have to prepare with okay so here the uh, this in this in this chapter they will get the 20 marks question for you so that is single step or three step single phase three step okay so before we're going to prepare the examinations you have to go with the curriculum that will be helpful to get the much marks okay so we have a lot of questions to be there at the last one so in the before going to exam just go with the preparation okay next another chapter that is induction motors so induction motors we have so for four cent students we don't have any induction motors for theory but here so we'll only uh, for point purpose we have to know about the what are the induction motors of types rotors stators what are the types of induction motors for three phase for slip ring spiral gauge okay so while you in practical if you seen these motors for shift okay so it is easy to draw the this type of one okay wool top motor cage rotor okay next slip ring so here diagram so if you go with the data so these are the rotors of the slip ring and square root gauge so this will question may ask me five marks okay thank you